So guys, as you can see, this is my 1969 Volvo Amazon. It's a two-door B20, and today we are gonna install hazard lights. Over here, I have a hazard switch. And just to show you guys, I have already finished this job. So I have done this complete thing. I know how it works. And over here, you can see it. There it flashes. And there are my hazard lights. So it's actually a very simple process. So as you can see, this is a pull switch. I have another one right here to show you guys how I did this. Um, every car is different. Yeah, let's just say that um, before we start this. Uh, these switches, um, as you can see, these are from a brand called DNI. These are actually uh, VW, uh, Carmen Ghia, Beetle or like the transporter series uh, switches from back in the day. Um, of course I am using one in a Volvo Amazon because I have all these nice pull switches for my lighting, my heater and everything. And I think this one suits uh, very well for a hazard light. This car wasn't delivered with one and I think that's one of the reasons you want hazard lights in your car. Um, the reason I'm uh, explaining this part with this switch, uh, the switch is very important in this process because this switch will actually use the original um, blinker relay. So you won't need a new relay with this one. How we're gonna do it? Um, I'm gonna go to my whiteboard inside and I'm gonna draw a complete schematic for you guys while you are watching. So please hang on. So guys, as you can see, this is my uh, whiteboard. I'm just gonna talk you guys through it on how you uh, make yeah, one of these uh, schedules and also how this exact switch works. So it might be weird for you guys to see me uh, making a video about the switch, but uh, doing it this way in a classic car with a just a simple pull switch, this switch lights up. It also lights up when you uh, pull it out. So it has a very small light when your ignition is on and a uh, blinking light when your hazard lights are on. And as I said, this one actually uses your um, original blinker relay. So you don't need another relay. Of course, the other way is to buy one of these relays. It's also possible, but why should you do that when you can just do it the easy way? Okay, so first of all, we have to switch. So what you need to do, is we're gonna draw this switch and I'm just gonna draw the exact shape of it. This is the switch and over here you have the button you can pull out. So over here what do we what do we have? We have exactly one, two, three, four, five, six and seven pins. These are just uh, pins, the uh, bronze thingies and um, what you need to do, left, right, we have 49A, need to see it, we have 49, and we have a, let's see, 30 and a 15. So you might wonder, what does all these uh, numbers mean? Well, it's actually very easy. Um, Right and left is of course um, your blinkers. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the colors of these blinkers. So I have a schematic down here, left, rear, and left front is green. So left to rear front is green. Right side of my car, this is just my car, just to be clear. I recommend making one of these for your own car, of course, that's the easiest way. So what we're gonna do, we have right and we have left. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the right one and connect it to the right one. We have the left one and connect it to the left one. How you're doing this is actually just uh, finding your cables in the car. So your left front to left rear uh, blinker cable and your right front to right rear blinker cable. You're cutting them. Um, just in half and then soldering a uh, wire in between and that wire is actually going to left and right. 
Then the other thing we need to do is we need some um, power. So we also, I forgot to draw that, we have here, this is your ground. This one is your ground. So we have ground over there. We have uh, 49A, 49, uh, we have 15 and we have 30. So 15 is actually very easy. I'm gonna draw that in red. 15 is actually your ignition coil. Just gonna draw that like that. It looks like a candle, but you get the point. This is your ignition coil. Um, be why? Because your ignition coil gets power when you turn on the ignition. So 15 is actually a um, interrupted positive. It's uh, interrupted by your ignition. So 15 is Fifteen is an ignition positive. And we have 30. 30 is actually a normal positive right to your battery. And what I did, I connected over here is a fuse. So we have already one, two, three, four, five. We have already, we have this. So I also forgot one other thing. That is 58B. This is 58B, that's the one. And this one will run with a diode. So there's a diode in there, and I can show you guys over here. You can see the little blue thing, that's the diode, and what a diode does, it makes sure that the power is only running one way, it runs one direction. So, on my car, it actually runs pretty funny because um, 49 with blinker relay, this is just your normal blinker relay. So this is the one that runs uh, your, yeah, your lighting to your um, yeah, stuff. We have now done almost everything. We need uh, 48B, uh, 58B and 49A. 49A is actually the wire that will run to the negative of your uh, blinker relay. Then we have 58B, and 58B is your that's your interior lighting. So we have now a complete, fully operational um, yeah switch. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna uh, take mine out of the car. And I'm just gonna hang it down on the wires. So and then I'm gonna explain to you guys how I connected it in my car. So guys, we are actually in my car right now, and as you can see, I have pulled down my uh, switch. So I can just screw this part in. And by the way, this is actually really the easiest way. I have connected uh, the first one that I did on my car uh, before I actually made this version of the studio. Uh, was this way too much wires and way too much hassle, so this is just the easiest way. Um, so, getting back on the... Um, wires um, this is a direct uh, positive this one goes to number 30 this is a direct positive so left up runs to here as you can see I have started a fuse in here I have a 10 amp fuse and this one goes down on my wire to my battery then over here this is my ignition coil just like I said in the schematics this is your ignition coil this is a red wire, also runs down over there. Then we get to the switch, and this was the 30 wire, this is the 15 wire. So we have now both positives. On the side here you can see the black one, that's just ground, so that's just any bolt of the car. The top one, so 49, is 49 goes to the relay. So as you can see here, this one is 49 and I have split this one and this one will go to 49A. As you can see, this one is uh, yellow purple, knitted on purpose. Um, and this one is also yellow purple, as you can see. 
and this one is actually the wire the yellow one is actually the wire that goes to your indicator and then on the bottom we have the last two wires these are your left and right or right uh, sorry right and left in the uh, blinkers and in the middle the one with the diode is as you can see i have lengthened it i have soldered it to the other wire this was actually the wire that went into my relay but when i did it like that then my ignition will turn on when i pull the switch which is no option of course um, so i have uh, just cut it out um, made a new connector on this wire then i lengthened it and put it on there so i have a very nice working relay i think it's a very 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 easy job um, i do have some experience in wiring of course but I think that uh, if you like cars and if you are doing electrical work for the first time, this is one of the first things you uh, must know. Just getting to understand uh, every uh, combination of like numbers and stuff and color codes and how you just wire things up. Uh, go practice on your soldering skills. Go practice on how you make everything nice. The thing I recommend, like highly, highly recommend, is just using some shrink wrap on every any type of connector you have and the last tip, of, tip i'm going to give you guys is over here sorry for all the mess i was cleaning but then i started working on the amazon again so over here i have all my electrical connectors and if you have like that um, connector of my relay if you have these connectors and you buy them with this little uh, foot on the end or how you want to call it the, the little lip what it does um, it locks into the um, connector so with these you can actually press out the old connector with the screwdriver and then uh, solder two wires on this one and then you can use the original relay connector the nice one that's came with your car onto your connector switches and everything else so yeah, that's actually it. Um, yeah, like I said, it's a very easy job. I want to show you like all the all the details and stuff, but it's just understanding the wires and the color codes. So just going over it once again. 31 is ground. 30 is a positive wire directly to the battery with a fuse in there, or you can just grab one from your fuse box if you have one uh, position free. 15 goes to your ignition coil. 49A goes directly to your blinker relay on the wire that's also connected to your blinker switch like the normal handle to go left or right. Your uh, other wire of your blinker uh, relay because your blinker relay is, is, is your indicator relay is mostly just three wires a ground, a uh, indicator switch and a uh, positive wire. So you take it positive run it to 49 this will uh, send a signal to switch um, then you have 58B, that's your interior lighting that runs with the diode. It's just that simple. I think this is a pretty clear uh, thing. I will just keep it steady right now so you can maybe screenshot it or anything. But I will just recommend buying one of those easy Volkswagen switches or do it in a relay. Because a relay, a relay is actually just the, the same thing. You can uh, get them in 4-pin relay or you can get them in 3-pin relay. A 3-pin relay is actually 49A, 49 and 31. It's, all, it's, that. it's just that. But with this you might have the problem that yeah, the problem that I had is that with this your ignition will turn on as soon as you use your indicators. And with that you can push start your car without keys. Just pull the indicator lamp and start it. That's not how we want it. That's not safe. That's very bad because then they will steal your nice car. So yeah, buy one of those Volkswagen switches. Do it like this and you will be fine and you will be safe when your car is broken down. Yeah, it's just that. It's actually a very stupid thing. You make something safe for when it breaks, but I don't know. Thank you very much for watching guys. I just love my new car. Just bought it two weeks ago. That's why I haven't posted in a long time. 
I'm going to enjoy this car. I'm going to take it for a drive and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching and let me know if your indicators are now correctly installed and working because I really hope it works. Bye bye.